Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Thomas, if you're brand new here, and I make videos every single week on YouTube. So firstly, before I get this video kicked off, I'm honored to say that today's video is sponsored by Gillette, uh, and in today's video, I've been given the amazing opportunity to review the Gillette Fusion Manual Razor, and I'm gonna be comparing it to the experience of the current razor that I use, which is the Gillette Mark III. So a little bit later in this video as well, I'm gonna be doing a shave on camera for you using the Gillette Fusion Manual, but first, I think it's really important to outline why I even considered doing this review. Right, so firstly, I just wanted to point out that the Gillette Fusion Manual has a far more advanced razor head on it, just in regards to complexity, and the thought that Gillette have actually put into this razor is quite remarkable. So let's get in there and have a really close look. The first thing that you'll notice on the Gillette Fusion Manual is it has five blades instead of three, and Gillette like to call this their advanced five blade technology, which means there's more blades on the razor head that are spaced closer together, which causes less pressure per blade on the skin and results in a far more comfortable shape which at the end of the day is what we're all going for. The less tugging, the better, I say. The second thing you'll notice on the Gillette Fusion Manual, which I'm actually super excited to test out today, is the precision trimmer, which is based on the back of the head. Um, and it's pretty much an extra blade that they've just popped on to help you get rid of those nasty little hairs that uh, always seem to get left behind by a regular razor. I've never found something that could properly get those little tiny nostril hairs off. So I'm really, really, really excited to be using this. Uh, and not only that, the precision trimmer is also really good for uh, styling your facial hair and cleaning up your sideburns. So if you're really into that kind of thing, you're really gonna love that feature as well. Another thing I'm really looking forward to with this razor is the comfort guard that they've positioned just before the blades. So this thing is kind of like a big corrugated cushion. And what it does, it's designed to lift the facial hairs up before the blades come through and swipe them off, which really helps make a closer and more comfortable shave as well. So as you can see, there is a huge difference between these two razors just in design alone. Um, but now it's time to see if all of that swish technology is actually as fabulous as it sounds. So let's head to the basin. Okie dokie, so step one in my shaving process is to trim all of my facial hair back with a beard trimmer. Beard trimming before shaving is always a good idea because it reduces tugging uh, and you don't have to go over your face a hundred times with the razor. Step number two, I'll start fluffing up my brush and make a nice thick lather, and then I'm gonna apply it to my face. From there, we're ready to shave. So I like to do three passes over my face to make sure that I get everything. The, um, the first pass is going to be down my face, the second is going to be to the left, and then the third is going to be to the right. And I'm always really careful when I shave around my Adam's apple as well, because the skin there is really thin, and it really hurts if you get a cut. And then finally, now that we have a really handy tool like the precision trimmer on this razor, um, I'll just go and make sure I get those nasty little suckers that always like to hide under my nostrils, and then I am done. After my shave is complete, uh, I just rinse my face in the basin, uh, dry it up a little bit, and then apply a moisturizing aftershave balm. Okay, so now that I'm finished with my shave, it's time to compare my experience uh, to using the Gillette Fusion Manual to the Mark III. Instantly after putting the Gillette Fusion Manual to my face, I could feel uh, a difference in comfort. If I could like put it into a word, I would just say it glided over my face really, really easily. But overall, uh, the shave was just really comfy. I didn't have to apply too much pressure on the skin. I also noticed that the head of the Fusion is really, really flexible, so I didn't really have to um, worry about my angling so much. It just kind of contoured to my face, which that was really, really nice. I'm also really, really impressed with the precision trimmer. Uh, I got every single little hair under underneath my nose, see? And I'm very happy with that. So overall, I think Gillette have really packed a lot of value into this razor, and I think it's really cool to see a company think about all of these different things that are gonna contribute to a better shave in the end, uh, and still manage to keep it at an affordable price um, on a supermarket shelf. So it's really, really good value. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this review. I really hope you enjoyed watching, and if you wanna go and check out the Gillette Fusion Manual, I'll leave a link just down below for you, okay? Uh, thank you so much for coming to visit, and I'll see you next week. Bye.